English football, Plymouth to Carlisle, an 800 mile round trip, better undertaken in September than in the depths of winter when the Cumbrians must negotiate the return fixture. Plymouth travelled north, lying second bottom of Division 2, a position occupied by Carlisle until their 4-1 win at Wickham, a display which preceded their midweek heroics at Spurs. Andy Cousins scored in both that Wickham win and the 3-2 defeat at Tottenham. The first goal since his summer signing from Leeds United. Warren Aspinall opened his account at White Hart Lane. One morning paper described him as an outside bet for the manager's job at Brunton Park. Warren, who likes a flutter, might just be tempted. Plymouth in the all-green strip of the Nationwide League's draw specialists. Five of their seven league matches have ended all square. The other two were defeats. So the Pilgrims still looking for their first league win. Five goals scored, eight conceded. Aspinall receives. Prokas available, so too is Owen Archdeacon, the captain. Bringing the applause from the home fans. Janssen's in the middle, McElinden's also there. And the first corner kick of the game. Carlisle, six goals scored since the departure of Mervyn Day, and an early chance for them here. The Andy Cousins to take. Far post, keeper just got a touch to that. Now it's Billy Barr. Yeah, and another corner kick. Archdeacon puts the cross in. Barr. And Paul Watton thumping it forward, but not clearing his own half. Well, now here come Plymouth. Well, here's Janssen, he's in space. Janssen advances on goal. 1-0! Two minutes played, and Carlisle United have the lead. Janssen was all on his own. Six goals already this season. Well, that is number seven. And that's the reason why. And that's put a few more thousands of pounds, a few more tens of thousands of pounds on the value of 19-year-old Matt Janssen. The youngster from Weatherall giving Carlisle the dream start. The early signs are that this could be some game. Well, the foul was by Owen Archdeacon on Patrick Wilson. Martin Barlow, a very popular player with the Plymouth fans, takes the free kick to Chris Billy. Cross comes in, left-footed. This kick by Archdeacon. Problems here for Carlisle United, and the equaliser's in. Well, a complete mess from Carlisle United terms, but Plymouth a level with five minutes played. Adrian Littlejohn with the goal. Little John, a £200,000 signing from Sheffield United, taking advantage of the confusion in the United defence. Some start, one apiece. And the crowd have hardly settled. Plenty of blue shirts forward, one of them Janssen. This is Holloway. More patience to the Cumbrians build-up. Holloway. Archdeacon heads it down. Well, eventually the shot was a poor one from Andy Cousins. He scored in each of Carlisle's last two games. And really, he should have been on the score sheet this afternoon. Archdeacon set him up perfectly. Cousins just didn't make the connect. This is Janssen. And Carlisle will have the corner kick. Final few seconds of the first half. Plenty of pushing and shoving in that goal mouth. Puwachi's come forward. Plymouth get it clear. Only as far though as Andy Cousins. Now it's Archdeacon. What sort of cross can he produce? 2-1! The goal from Matt Janssen. His second of the game. The cross was perfection. So too was the finish. Superbly worked goal. 
puts Carlisle United back into the lead in first half stoppage time. Well, that's Matt Janssen's eighth goal of the season. The youngster on a hat-trick. The cross couldn't have been better, but neither could the finish. Possession given away by the Cumbrians. So Punawachi stretched out one of his long legs. That's good play by Gareth McAlinden, picking out Barr. The return to McAlinden, towards Janssen. Joy to watch at the moment, this football from Carlisle United. Cousins keeping up the momentum. Now it's Prokas. Janssen's in the middle, McAlinden is also there. Prokas trying the shot. Not noted for his goal-scoring Richard Prokas. He has more freedom to get forward in his current role, but wide of the target. Again, Carlisle build from deep. Third goal would be very nice from the home point of view. Punwachi's head and also Punwachi's shove on Adrian Littlejohn. Plymouth push for the equaliser. They've had plenty of possession. No clear-cut chances until now! Well, that's the way to seize on it. It's Patrick Wilson with the equaliser. Two apiece. The goal coming with 28 minutes of the second half played. Well, that's the first thing really Tony Cakes had to do this half, and that's to pick the ball out of his own net. Patrick Wilson with the finish. Signed from non-league football, Unibond League, Ashton United, during the summer. And he's adjusted rather well to the demands of the Nationwide League. Two apiece. Now then, we're inside the last five minutes. Punwachi's header forward towards Stevens. Well, that's the first we've really seen of Ian Stevens in a Carlisle United shirt. It was on target. But no real problems there for John Sheffield. It really would be a headline if Ian Stevens could come on on his debut, his Carlisle United debut, and score for the Cumbrians. But that's it, two apiece it finishes. Carlisle fans may well have thought that it was going to be three points when Matt Janssen put them back into the lead just before half-time, but the second half, something of a disappointment. Plymouth coming back to equalise, and it finishes Carlisle United 2, Plymouth Argyle 2. Well, twice in front there, you must have thought you are on your way to three more points. Yeah, that's right. Um... Getting two one in front and uh, with a couple of half chances as well to maybe to make it more. But uh, you know, saying Taffy made it difficult for us. They got the goal, although it was a bit sloppy defending from us. And uh, you know, two two. And, and to be fair, I think we tired near the was in the game, and it didn't look as if we we're going to get back in it again. If we could have uh, consolidated a bit in the second half, but the lads tired, as I say, you know. And uh, hopefully we've got a week off next week, and hopefully we can refresh our legs and get ready for next Saturday. Two more goals for yourself, you just can't stop scoring at the moment. Oh, it's nice, yeah, but uh, it would have been nice if another, one of the other players could have got the goal for the win, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't to be today. No change to Carlisle's league position, they remain 18th, but eight goal, Matt Janssen, now the second division's joint top scorer.